Hello grade 9 math class. Welcome back to another lecture. We have lesson 4 today of our polynomials unit. We are going to be multiplying polynomials by a monomial and we are going to be continuing using the distributive property which we have touched on a little bit um, here and there. We're going to expand it a little bit and hopefully uh, make it make sense when we're using variables. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and give it a go. First question we have minus 10 n to the power of 3 minus n plus 12 in brackets. So we are going to take this first term and we are going to multiply it by both of these. So that includes taking the number that's in front and multiplying it by the number that's in front of the term as well as the variables being multiplied. Um, we are going to end up with two terms. We have two terms to start. We're going to, uh, in the brackets, we're going to end up with two terms. Let's go ahead and do this. Minus 10 times a minus here. This is a minus 1. So that actually makes it 10. And then n cubed times n to the power of 1. You add their exponents when you're multiplying variables. With, um, so we add them together. We have n to the power of 4. Our next term, minus 10 times 12, well, that's minus 120. And then we just bring our n over, because we don't have anything to multiply it by, and that's n cubed. So when we're multiplying this monomial by this binomial, we are distributing it across both terms, multiplying the numbers by the numbers and the variables by the, by the variables. Let's do another one. We have minus 7 times 7b squared plus 4b minus 11. We're going to take this minus 7, we're going to distribute it and multiply it against all of these. Okay, the, the distributive property means that we multiply uh, what's in front of the brackets by everything in it. So minus 7 times 7, that's minus 49 and then we don't have a variable. So we just bring the variable from the term with it. That's b squared. Minus 7 times 4. So that's plus 28. We bring the term with it. 28b. I say plus 28. No. Stop me if, I'm, if I make a mistake here. But that's minus 28. Minus 7 times plus 4. And then minus 7 times minus 11. That's positive 77. There are no like terms to combine. We have a second degree, a first degree, and a constant. So that is our final answer. All right. Let's go ahead to the next one here. Uh, okay, we have 4x minus 7x plus 4y in the brackets. Okay, we've got two different variables and that's not going to deter us we will press forward no matter what okay we take the first term and we multiply it by the first term that is 4 times minus 7 that's minus 28 and then x times x we add the exponents that's 1 plus 1 that's x squared we then take the 4x so we multiply it by the 4y so the numbers multiplied together uh, that's 16 and then when we have two different variables, we're just going to bring them along. Just like we did when we had no variables to multiply it by. There's nothing else we can do. We're just going to bring the variables along. So that's 16xy. If there are uh, x's here, we'll add those exponents. But the y will just come along as well. We can't get rid of anything. Uh, we can't make anything go away. We just want to... Um, get rid of the brackets using the distributive property. Let's do the next one. Minus 5, 6x plus y. Uh, no variables, so we're just multiplying uh, numbers. Minus 5 times 6, that's minus 30. We bring the x along. And minus 5 times y, that's just minus 5y. Bring the 5 along, bring the y along, that's about it. Okay. We got a little bit more complicated one here. We have minus 8xy squared multiplied by 3x squared minus 7xy plus 6y squared. All right. 
So although we have terms that are the same uh, degree, they are not the same variable, so we cannot combine them. Uh, we have some work to do here. We are going to take this value, we're going to multiply it by all three of these terms. Numbers times numbers, x's times x's, y's times y's, and if there's anything that's kind of lonely, we just bring them along. That's the good people that we are. So minus 8 times 3, that's minus 24. x times x squared, that gets us x cubed. We're adding the exponents. And there's nothing for the y to multiply by, so we just bring it along, y squared. All right, our next one, we have minus 8 times minus 7. That's plus 56. x times x, that's x squared, but x, plus, x1, x1, we add the ones together. And then we have y squared times y. We add the exponents. That's y to the power of 3. y doesn't just have to come along this time. That's nice. I'm going to write the next term down here. So it's, it should be in a line, but we are running out of space. So I'm just going to write it at the bottom here. Minus 8 times 6, that's 48. So it's minus 48. x is just being brought along. There's nothing to multiply it by. And y squared times y squared, that's y to the power of 4. We add their exponents. So this right here is our answer. It should all just be in one line. So this is minus 48x should be up here. But uh, we are just multiplying each number by each number and the variables by the variables. We have one more to do. And then you are released to work on this yourself. Minus 2b squared minus 6a squared minus 8ab minus 2b squared. All right, numbers times the numbers. Minus 2 times minus 6, that's just 12. And we're bringing both the b and the a along. There's nothing to do with them. So uh, a squared, b squared. I like to write it in alphabetical order, uh, generally from left to right. Minus 2 times minus 8, well, that's plus 16. Uh, a just comes along, there's nothing to do with it, but the b's can be multiplied together to get b to the power of 3, 2 plus 1. And then we go minus 2 times minus 2, well, that is plus 4. And no a's, but we bring our b's together to be b to the power of 4. If you guys have questions about this, please let me know. But thank you very much for watching, everybody. I will see you soon.